Hello, I'm Luke Singleton and welcome to Spark Recruitment's Illuminate interview series. As an IT recruitment specialist, we're lucky to partner with a number of high profile IT employers in the Australian market. We get exposure to their groundbreaking work. In this series, we'll be showcasing the story behind their success. We're here today at TripAdvisor's brand new Sydney office and uh, we're lucky enough to be talking with Jeff Lewis. Jeff, welcome. Thanks. Jeff is the VP of Engineering for TripAdvisor here in Sydney, and uh, Jeff's been in the, um, the IT industry for over 20 years, building soft web-based software. Um, Jeff, could you tell us about how you've seen the industry evolve and why e-commerce is booming right now? Um, I think it's booming at the moment due to probably mobile. Um, we sell travel, travel products, so mainly tours and activities. And now that people can purchase stuff in destination and research it, look at reviews, it's really working well. Um, it's really driving a lot of sales mobile. And obviously acceptance of mobile, everyone's got a smartphone these days. I mean, I've got a four-year-old daughter and she, she can use an iPad. Exactly. So do, you, do you find that that acceptance of technology is, and the prevalence of it is a big driver? Yeah, it's so widespread. So everybody's got a computer in their hands. Everybody's got access to information wherever they are these days. And it really helps drive that uh, conversion, the ability to wherever they might be, be able to look at stuff online. Great stuff. Obviously, TripAdvisor is a global business. Uh, Agile is the new norm in, in software development. Yeah. How do you guys make that process work? Yeah, well, we've got offices, obviously, mainly in San most of our team are in San Francisco or in Sydney. So the engineering is based in Sydney. And uh, so we keep all the engineering here to keep at least the teams together, along with Scrum Masters. And then our POs are often based in San Francisco. So we tie it all together through uh, video conferencing. We have almost 20 video conferencing points of presence just in our Sydney office alone. So no matter what time somebody wants to have a meeting, they can have face-to-face. -face. Yeah, and you've also got some quite innovative spaces in your yeah. office around Agile. Could you give us an insight into that? Exactly. We've developed a concept called stand-up meeting rooms. So these are meeting rooms that are kind of open to the rest of the office, but just private enough to be able to run video conferencing. Um, obviously, with Agile, the idea of a stand-up is the teams can at any time jump up, have their have their Agile or their stand-up meeting in the mornings. But this allows us to to use video conferencing in that environment. Cool. And I've I've not seen a stand-up meeting room before, so it must be pretty exciting for the engineers. Yeah, to, exactly. To kind of I think it's pretty innovative. I think it's something we kind of well, I've, I've never seen it either. And when we worked with the architects, we talked about how can we have that uh, semi-enclosed space because we still want to keep the collaboration concept of a stand-up, people walking by can join in or, or listen in. Great stuff, cool. And so when you hire software engineers to join the, the Vartor.com brand, but also obviously part of TripAdvisor, what do you look for when you're hiring people? Uh, yeah, I guess two things. Obviously, mainly technical excellence. We really want engineers that are leading, the, leading their game. Um, but also a cultural fit. It's really important that our engineers want to be here, want to contribute to the business, and, and fit in with the rest of our team. Um, well, it's, that's the big challenge, finding both those in one person. Yeah. And we're, we're experiencing in the market, people are shifting away from you know, the kind of cookie cutter Java, can you code, yep. to more logic based, more problem solving. Yeah. Could you share some insights around that? Yeah, I think that's a critical part of Agile is being able to contribute to the business solution. So not only uh, being able to take a specification and build it, but to be able to um, uh, uh, join in the business conversation right up front and think about the solution and the customer. Yeah, okay, cool. And obviously the Sydney office has grown fairly rapidly since mm. the acquisition in 2014. Yeah. How have you managed to build the culture and, and maintain that feel in the office? Yeah, it's been a challenge obviously growing at the speed we have, but I think a combination of, uh, we have a lot of social events and stuff like that, so people get to know each other across the different teams and departments. We also keep our, obviously our agile teams fairly small, maybe you know, four to six or maybe eight engineers, so they can really, you know, bond well with their small team, a lot of ceremonies. So I think that really helps get them involved in the business, get them understanding. Yeah. Have you seen a change in culture since the office move or not? Um, I, I think it's allowed us to further our agile, uh, you know, agile learnings, mainly through the VC, because we can talk to the POs a lot, more, a lot more easily than previously, just on phone calls, etc. Yeah. Okay, great stuff. So Jeff, you've been in the industry for over 20 years, as I said, and you've, you've run and built two software engineering businesses, and you've obviously been a big contributor to the Vartor.com success. What are the three bits of advice you'd give aspiring IT professionals in today's market? Three tips for engineers. I'd say 
First of all, expertise. Uh, it's critical that engineers focus on some particular area of expertise these days. Um, generalists aren't really that, that, uh, that needed. So whether it's machine learning, big data, all sorts of different things, CI, CD, all critical, all deliver uh, these complex solutions we have these days. Um, number two would be certainly learning. You can't sit on your laurels. What you learned in university, I think that's kind of history now. People have expected to keep learning, keep improving, keep growing their skills. So that means that means you know learning outside of the office. Uh, people aren't getting paid to you know to, to further educate themselves. They expected to bring that to the work. And finally, we spoke earlier about contributing to the business. Engineers are expected to be able to bring that technical. Um, value to the business, um, not only just programming skills. So they can contribute in the business conversations, what are we delivering our customers, how can technology make that better. Um, it's really critical because they have expertise that, that the rest of the business doesn't have. Yeah, fantastic, and their, their insights I'd absolutely agree with. I mean we're experiencing that you know development used to be kind of in the back room of a business, exactly. whereas now it's very much in, in the forefront and that's not just a, at a, uh, an executive level, it's you know, the board level businesses are, are talking about technology, so uh, I, I think it's a real change in the market. Yep, I think most people, their introduction to a business or to a product is through the internet, through mobile phones, apps, whatever it might be, uh, no longer through uh, customer service centers or, 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 or you know, a, a street presence. Yeah, great. Jeff, I really appreciate your time today and, and letting us come and visit the, yeah, uh, my the, pleasure. the amazing office. Thank yeah. you for your support. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, mate. Great. Cheers.